good afternoon. Well, today in class we talked about problem solving using ages. And uh, so we only did really two uh, main examples. So let's go from the first one. I actually went from the book. Most of the word problems I'm going to do will be from the book. Um, but the one I did was from page 59. If you want to look at your book um, while I go over it. It says, Charlene is 19 years older than Enrique. Enrique. Well, automatically, if you're doing a word problem, write down some information. We know there's Charlene. And we know there's Enrique. I did not choose the names, by the way. Um, it says, Charlene is 19 years old as him. So he, Enrique, since he's talked about second, we make him X. And Charlene, it says 19 times as old as he is. Okay? So that's how old he or they are now. But for these problems, we're going to have to add or subtract to that. It says, uh, Sonia, oh, there's the third one. Sonia, okay, is 30 years younger than Charlene. So you're going to take Charlene's age. She's 30 years younger than that, okay? Whenever you see younger than, more than, older than, you put that on the right side. So 19x minus 30. Now it says in six years. So for these word problems, if it says in this amount of years, I'm going to put a little column here that says plus six, in six years. That means add six years to each age value. Okay? 19x, negative 30 plus six is negative 24. Notice I didn't add the six to the 19. It's not 25x. Those are unlike terms. So I have to say 19x plus six x plus 6, 19x minus 24. It says, in six years, Charlene's age, so that age right there, 19x plus 6, she uh, will be twice the sum. So twice the sum. We're going to be adding something. Whenever it says sum, you should probably think about putting parentheses there. Twice the sum of Enrique and Sonia's age. So Enrique... And Sonia, remember, sum means addition. Okay? So the main thing is a setup. We get our setup for now, and then in six years, so we have to add. Or if it says six years ago, we do minus six. Okay? Now we can just work it out here. We have 19x plus six. I'm going to go ahead and combine like terms inside the parentheses. So that's 20x minus 18. Then I distribute. So you get 19x plus six equals 40x minus 36. I'm going to add the 36 to the left side, which gives me 42. And I'm going to subtract the 19. I'm not going to write it out. So know that I'm subtracting the 19x from 40x, which gives me 21x. And lastly, I divide by 2, or divide by 21, and my answer is 2. x is equal to 2. But always remember, even if you found x, what is it asking for? It says find, or how old is each person now? So you go to your now column, and you're going to plug in 2. So right now, Enrique is 2. Charlene is 19 times 2, which is 38. And Sonia is 30 years younger than that. So that makes her 8. So this, these three numbers would be your answer. Enrique is 2, Charlene is 38, and Sonia is 30. Okay? So that's the first example that we did involving ages. So let's just do one more. The second example I took from the classroom exercises, okay? If you look at number two on the classroom exercises from page 60, it says a redwood tree is 100 years older than three times the age of a pine tree. So we have a redwood and we have a pine wood. And the second one that gets mentioned is the pine tree, so we call that X, okay? And it says the redwood tree is 100 years older than, we saw the word than, so go ahead and put it on the right side, then three times the pine. So three times the pine. And that is their ages now, okay? Now, if you look at, that was number two from the classroom exercises. Now, if you look at number eight, it continues that problem. It says, suppose that in 115 years. So, again, 
in 115 years, that means we're going to add 115 to both ages. So this becomes 3x plus 215. This one becomes x plus 115. Add 115 to both of those numbers. Now these are the values we're going to use to set up our equation. Never use the now column to set up the equation. Always use the plus whatever, minus whatever for setting up the equation. So it says in uh, 115 years, redwood tree, so the redwood tree, 3x plus 215, will be twice as old as the pine tree, twice as old as the pine. Okay? So that is our setup. So now we can go ahead, distribute that to 3x plus 215 is equal to 2x plus 230. So I'm going to subtract the 2x from both sides, so that goes away. Over here, 3x minus 2x is 1x. I'm going to subtract the 215 from both sides, which leaves me with 15 over here. Okay? Move the 2x that way, move the 215 that way by subtracting. So now it says x is 15. Find the age of each tree now. So therefore, we know x is 15, so we know the pine tree is 15. The redwood tree is 3 times 15, which is 45 plus 100. So 145. So this would be your answer here. So again, whenever it says plus or in 6 years, we do a plus. If it said 6 years ago, we do a minus. Okay? So um, word problems, I, I know they can be a little scary at times, but try hard, work hard at these. And again, take it one step at a time, and hopefully you get more comfortable with setting these up, all right? Again, the main part is the setup. Do not use the now column to set up your equation. Ever, 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 ever.